Man, at 16, man, I was a neighborhood menace. The neighborhood menace, man. We stayed in the trouble. Those days, you know, it was okay for me. I was in the, basically in junior high school band and also basketball. <laughs> I started playing in the band when I was 11. Playing drums made you kind of popular with the girls and you love that that glory that you get out of it. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Since I was small, that's all I knew. One side of my family was into all that, and one side of my family wasn't. And so the one side of my family that wasn't, they put me in Catholic school. But I'd be in church and school during the day, then at nighttime, I'm right back in the mix of things. You see other people with money, cars, and a lot of fancy clothes, because I ain't have it. But then once I started, you know, selling drugs and stuff, I provide, provide for myself. Growing up and you're doing a whole lot of things for yourself now, you get more independent. Living that life, you know, you think you got to keep up with everybody else, man. You got common sense in one end, your buddies in the other. Because all your friends, your peers, they into it. Everybody doing it. Your surroundings, you know? The game sucks you in sometimes, you know? Sometimes it'll suck you in. All, all you saw in the neighborhood was everybody hooking school, letting their talent go to waste. Dropped out when I was in eighth grade. Only thing was on my mind was outside on the street selling drugs and getting money. I was making, man, $1,500 a day. I ain't had no problem with spending five, $600. As long as you going about getting what you want in the game, there's always going to be somebody to come take that from you. I always knew something could happen to me, but I ain't never know when or where. I, I really didn't care. I just really thought about doing what I had to do to stay alive and here on the street. When I caught my first pistol, uh, it gave me a feeling like no other. I was Superman for a minute. It gave you power, because you know what it can do. I got the first gun when I was between 14 and 15. Once you get that gun, you just think you're invincible. I need the protection because the way I was living. You think you, nothing can't happen to you. Now it's a whole new ball game. Because they know I ain't never leave without it. They just generate problems just, just by just saying he got a gun. You start carrying your pistol more and more because the paranoia says, and now you're wondering what damn. Donald from Southwest, he carry a pistol too, and he known for robbing people, shooting people. He gonna be up to school. I better get my man, make sure I load my Roscoe up, take him with me, and away we go. I was uh, celebrating my man's birthday. I chose to go out that night about 11, 11 something. It was just like standing out. But somebody came past. Then my man that was right, right beside me, he just stood up, turned around and said, watch out, watch out. He came straight forward at me to run me over, you know. I jumped up on the hood. I saw the gun come out by the side of the mirror. The only thing I seen was the gun and the spots. When I got hit, all of my back had my back turned. You really don't want to find a high bullet feels. It burns like hell. It burns. And I felt my body kind of like dying out. You know, like the motor was just. That's when I blanked out. When I woke up next time, I was in ICU. Paralyzed from the neck down. I couldn't move at all, you know. I couldn't even move. I didn't even know I was paralyzed. I just knew I couldn't feel my legs. Time where I got in trouble with this dude, the dude I was beefing with just shot me. Wish I can go back and just uh, change it all. From that same day we got into it, 
So I won't be in this predicament. If I'd have stayed in school and done the things that I had planned on in the beginning, I don't think I would be in this chair. If I knew what I knew now, 10 years ago, I wouldn't be in this position, you know? All them years I wasted doing nothing, I'd have went to school. I had three or four degrees, man. And if I'd have went to school, maybe a lot of, a lot of more things would have came back for me. Every time I see that, I just, it kind of like, take a load on me, man. It's, Cause I could avoid it all. Man. Why did I go outside? Why did I come out? You know, what I, what I'm gonna do now? It's the worst thing I could have done. You can lose everything you have in a matter of minutes. Everything you got in a matter of seconds. You may actually believe that you're getting that pistol for protection, but once you have it. Most thing I think about the, my past, all the stuff that, the dumb stuff I did, everything I did was dumb, uncalled for. I had to find out the hard way, you know? And um, it took this, you know, to open my eyes up. That's when that everything hit me, you know? I did a lot of things, man. I wish I could have did a lot of things different. You never get over that night that it happened to you. You never get over the night that you got shot because you never think it can happen to you.